About 20 high school students, top contestants in a local computer competition, are learning to hack at the office of the IT security firm ESET North America. 16-year-old Chloe Chrysostomo is taking part in the five-day program. We set up networks and then we can hack into the network or we can hack into other people's computers and then mess with them. A single data breach, like one last year at the retailer Target, can cost hundreds of millions of dollars as financial institutions are forced to cancel and reissue compromised credit cards. The problem is worldwide and police in places like India and Romania are struggling to keep up with the cyber criminals. These students learn about cyber spying and the online marketing of stolen information. Security researcher Cameron Camp says the cyber camp has a realistic IT system. Set up very similar to what would be a typical corporate environment. So whether you have Wi-Fi, whether you have corporate uh, networks that store company information, we actually replicate that. It is a closed environment and students learn how to hack it. Recent high school graduate Jomari Salomon says the workshops help him understand the minds of criminal hackers. To learn how to defend against a hacker, you have to know how a hacker attacks or how a hacker thinks in order to be able to defend that kind of uh, vulnerability that you're probably going to have in the future. The participants get help from university students. Liz Froman of the nonprofit foundation Securing Our E-City says the high schoolers change their attitude through the week of training. When we look at them initially, we they think they know it all. They, they know a lot already. And by Wednesday, they're knowing, hmm, I don't know quite as much as I thought. By week's end, the students are well-versed in white hat hacking and have learned to help not harm computer users, says Cam. And we would like to say that we convince these folks who are skilled computer people that the rewards in the end are much better for working for the, for the good guys rather than the bad guys. Those in the growing field of computer security say they need more young people like these to counteract the growing numbers of criminal hackers. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, San Diego.